We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey. I live on a job, right? Yeah, I'm always at work, right? Real people stay by me, right? Haters wanna do hurt, right? No, they tryna stop me, right? Drag my name through dirt, right? I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so special. But the most high God said he gonna serve him a hunger. When you go to Walmart or you go to Sam's, what nationality owns them stores? No. Is it people that look like us or the same people that put us in slavery? No. And when we go to the to KFC, is the same people that look like us or the same people that put us in slavery? They profit off our downfall. The Most High God say we're going to serve our enemies in hunger. Read. And in thirst, even for a bottle of water. And you want to go feed your child with milk, you got to go to the same people that threw your child to alligators just to get, just to uh, nourish their nourish they thirst. You understand? Read. And in nakedness. Uh -huh. So even the clothes you got on, ain't none of them clothes say made in a row. None of them clothes say made in Israel. Right. All those clothes we get, we get from the same people that put us in slavery. Right. No other right. nation's going through that, but the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. We're the only ones going through that, the nation of Israel. Keep reading. Right. That's right. And in words of all things. Bro, everything we want, we got to go to our enemies. Right. Everything. If you want to be born, you got to go get a birth certificate. Right. Even when you die, your family got to go get a death certificate. Right. You want to say, Master, can I drive? You got to go get a driver's license. Right. Regardless of whatever it is in this world, you got to go to your enemies. Right. Ain't nothing changed from slavery. Give me 68. Now, you got to finish it off. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now, that's a very, very detailed statement. The Most High God says our enemies is going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck. Right. Who did that to us in 1619? What group of people? I don't know, enlightenment. The so-called white man. That's right. The devil the, the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. The only people you can go back and look up of yokes of iron, you're going to look up people just like us. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. No other nation went through this. Right. The Bible says that slavery was one of the greatest atrocities that happened to Jerusalem. Right. Read. Right. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed you. Now you look around, we see us standing here. We ain't destroyed. So what it's talking about? Until we're mentally destroyed, bro. Right. Until we don't know who we are. We don't care where we come from. Right. We finna go get fresh to go to the club on Halloween. Right. We finna get ready to eat that turkey with, with uh, we finna eat that turkey with uh, Big Mama on Thanksgiving. I don't celebrate no holidays. Cause ain't none of them holidays for us. The Most High God gave us our own holidays. That's right. That's a bad holiday. Every holiday that you get the day off of work in Babylon the Great is not for Israel. Right. In the book of Leviticus 23, the Most High God gave us straight holidays. Right. Get it six days. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Most High God talking to the nation of Israel, Emory, he say that he's going to bring Israel back into Egypt again. Right. Now, what, what Egypt do you think he's talking about, Emory? Maybe here. Maybe here. It is here. It's here. It's here. So you say you know a little about Moses. When the Israelites was in Egypt, what were we doing? I don't know. You don't know? We was in bondage, bro. Right. Right. We was building the pyramids from sun down to sun up. Right. Getting whipped with lashes just like they did us in America. But the Bible gives you a full definition of what Egypt is. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 6. So Emory, this is Egypt. This is the definition of Egypt, all right? Read. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. What? The house of bondage. So what's the definition of Egypt according to the Bible? The house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Uh, struggling. Right here on the sign. I mean on the sign right here. What's another word for bondage? When you're in bondage, what are you in? You're in slavery. That's right. So the Most High God says, read it again from the top of Deuteronomy 28, 68. Read. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Back into slavery again, black, so-called black man, so-called Hispanic man. Read. With ship. With what? With ships. Get the sign. Now, how do we get here in, into America? Ship. Emmanuel, By what? The sign. Ship. The Most High God said we're going to go back into slavery in ships. The other one. The I ain't have to one. tell you that. You know that because the so-called white man is so proud. They teach you that every February. Yeah. They teach you that in school that, that we got here on ships. Read it again how the Most High God said we're going to get back into slavery. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So the Most High God say, exactly how I say it's going to happen, it's going to go down just like this. Right. You're going back into slavery on ships, how I said it's going to happen. Read. Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. What happened when we got off the slave ships? We got sold unto who? The, the so-called white man. The so-called white man who the Most God said is our enemies. Read. Right. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. No man is going to save us. Martin Luther King tried. Malcolm X tried. Uh, Obama tried. Right. But guess what? We still in poverty, bro. Right. We still shooting each other down to this day. Teach him up. Read. Now, I got something for you, right? This is a history book called From Babylon to Timbuktu, right? Now we're going to show you that the prophecies in the Bible matches with our history, okay? Bring it up. So watch this. This is page 84 from Babylon to Timbuktu. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state, right? We are the real Jews. They came and conquered us in 70 AD. Watch this. Uh, with great slaughter during the period of the military governors of Palestine many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people during the period from Pompey to Julius it has been estimated that over 1 million Jews fled into Africa now where did they come pick us up when we got on slave ships right from the west coast of Africa that's how we got there we came from Jerusalem and we traveled down to Africa right and they got and they capture over 1 million Jews right we the real Jews okay watch this fleeing the Roman persecution and slavery the slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves so the Bible tells you I mean the, the history book tells you and the Bible tells you right the real Jews went into slavery on ships. Yes, and me right. and you, we the real Jews, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So just, like the word Jew is that Jerusalem or like how Jew, you know? Jew is short for Judah. Right. Oh, okay. Jew is short for Judah. Okay, Judah right. is Jew. Right. The so-called African Americans are from the tribe of Judah. Right. They're just right. called Jews in the Bible. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, that's real. And the, and the Most High God is a, is a master of all things. He even put that in the Bible. The Most High God even put it in the Bible. The problem is we get so wrapped up with, with white Jesus. We get so wrapped up with Christianity. We get so wrapped up in all these different doctrines that's really been lying to us for the longest. Right. The Most High God gave us everything we need to know in the book of the law. Right. Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. It's just to emphasize what the officer was saying. Read. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. So, Emory, the Jews are what color? They are black. That's right. right. So the Most High God say the Jews are black That's in the right. Bible. The Most High God shows you in history that the Jews are black. How do we know that? Because we're the only ones that went on slave ships. Yes. We're the only ones had yokes of iron on our neck. Yes. The Most High God say we're the only one that been through that. Give me a dormitory for And not only did the, the so-called blacks went through that, I'm, I want to stay on that point. Our, our brothers over there, Espanol, went through that too. The so-called Hispanics went through that as well. Right. All right? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. Right. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So the Most High God said he's going to bring a nation against us from far. Where did the so-called white man come from? Europe. From Europe, right? What was their national sign? Do you know? Yeah, what, what was they what was they sign? What was they symbol? 
like the British thing, right? So like it's, it's red, white, and blue with the, with the star with the X thing. What bird do they always record? What, what bird do they always put on all these flags on their money? The eagle, right? Just like in America, they use the eagle, right? Oh. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, uh -huh. as swift as the eagle flieth. What? The eagle flieth. The Most High God says swift as the eagle flieth. The so-called white man put it in our face, but we won't pick up the Bible. Right. We won't study to keep the Most High God's commandments to find out who we are. Right. We're not concerned about that. So, brother, from what we told you so far, where are you from? What's your nationality? I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. You from West Palm? One second. Now, this is the reason why he showed you about the eagle, right? Go to verse 48. Watch this. Verse 48. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemy. Thy who? Thine enemies. So, the prophecy says that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will have to serve their enemies. Right. Who is your enemy, Emory? Who's oppressing you? The so-called white man. The so-called right. Arabs. The so-called Chinese man, right? right? They all oppressing us. Right. They all set up businesses in our neighborhoods, right? And, and smack the crap out of our women that buy weed from them, right? They all oppress us and they all are our enemies. Right. Now, watch this. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger, and thirst, and in nakedness, and in wants of all things. So, I don't know any other nation that goes through that but us. We don't have no land. We don't have no government, right? As a matter of fact, the United Nations, we not even considered a nation to them. Right. They call us niggas. They call us slaves, right? God says we got to serve our enemies in one of all things. Now, here's the main enemy that God is speaking about, verse 49. Verse 49, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. What is a nation? It's a, it's a place where got all the people at. Right? A nation is a group. A, yeah, oh, a nation, well, not a continent is a land. A nation is a group of people. Like exactly. Nationality. Exactly. Like, bro, this is so captivating, bro. It's like so much going on right now. I'm looking at all these pictures. And I'll, I'm just overwhelmed, bro. You know, I'm fine. Oh, hey. trying to focus on all this. <laughs> I just was talking about this to people all day today, bro. Mm -hmm. And it's like showing me a sign. I don't celebrate mm -hmm. holidays. Mm -hmm. And my family be mad at me. Mm -hmm. I don't have any children. They're like, what you going to do when you have a kid? You're going to take Christmas away from them. And this and that. I'm like, yo, how stupid does it look? It look kind of ugly when you ride down the street with a mattress on top of your car. People are like, hey, look at that with that mattress. Are oh, you holding it like this? Then you gonna ride down the street with a Christmas tree on top of your house. Exactly. Your car. Exactly. That's so stupid. Exactly. Then you walk in your front door, you got a fake tree. Exactly. Hey, we gonna touch that on all. To me, bro. We gonna touch on all of that. Wait till the third, the, 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 the last Thursday in November to sit down and eat with my people. Hey, I gotta eat. What you tell me to eat? Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. I need a car, bro. Yes, you gotta fly. You gotta fly right there. The, the address, the number, the website, YouTube is all on that flyer. Yeah, we are, we supposed to be travelers, right? We're not supposed to have insurance on our car or driver's license. We well, don't well, that, well, right? that's 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 it's like on the Morris, too, right? <laughs> No, 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 that, we not, no, 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 Morris is something completely different, okay. something completely different. I'm telling you. Right. We're we going to teach you, we're going to teach you, we're going to deal with all that, we're going to deal with all that, right? So, I'm going to tell you something, you ran into the right people. That's right. Right, right? we're going to ask all your questions. <laughs> I'll read verse 49 again. Verse 49, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. Now, here it said the eagle flyeth because the Lord is telling you the symbol of this nation that's going to come against us, right? Read on. Now, American symbol, what is it? American symbol is the flag. We got, we got the signs? Japan's got it. Japan's got it. Japan's okay, got it. yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So now, this is the eagle, right? Rome, Spain, France, Germany, Russia, America, they all had the same symbol. Exactly. It's on a quarter. It's on the back of your dollar bill, right? God is telling you that these people with the symbol of an eagle is going to come oppress you. Exactly. Yes. 
And this right here, for the love of this, is the root of all evil. For money? money? Yes. The love of it. The love of it. Yes. People don't say that. I said the love of it. All praise the Don't say that. Watch this, watch this. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because when they came over here, we was not speaking. When they brought us over here, we was not speaking English, right? right? The Hispanics wasn't speaking Spanish. Right. They didn't say, uh, uh, hola, como estas to uh, Christopher Columbus. Right. They didn't say that, right? They had to beat us into that. Right. We were speaking Hebrew. That's right. Read. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. So God says, this nation that's going to come oppress you, they ain't going to care about your young kids or your older men and women. That's why you got situations like Mike Brown, right? right? Trayvon Martin. Right. Situa you seen Amber Geiger, that little court situation, how the woman killed a brother in his house and she thought it was her house? I heard and, the, and the judge came and hugged her, and the, and the woman was stroking her hair, playing with her head, talking about some she was checking for contraband. Right. They don't show no mercy to our people. That's but if right. a black man was to do that, they'd have put him under the prison. Right. Right. They gave her 10 years. She probably gonna get fired for good behavior. Right. <laughs> so God says this nation is going to oppress you. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. That's right. That's the solution that. That's what happened. Yes, we broke God's commandments. Right. A lot of our people don't worship God. They worship after Christmas, right? They keep Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. They smoke weed, sell drugs. We kill one another. We hate one another. We don't keep the Sabbath day. Today, Tonight is the Sabbath day, right? What does that mean? The Sabbath day is the seventh day of rest. You read that in Exodus 20. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that. People need to hear this, bro. Absolutely. Straight up, bro. But I felt like I was alone. I was oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like holiday. I don't because it's, bro, 4th of July, that's Independence Day. That's when they got their independence to get slaves. What we was at. They, they caught it. And what we was at. Was slaves, exactly. Bro. Right. People celebrating that, bro. They popping fireworks because they happy they got their own people to pick this time. That's why God that's says, great. right, that's why God says that we would discontinue from our heritage. That's what he brought up earlier in the, in the uh, first couple minutes you came up here. We discontinue from our heritage. Right. We don't know who we are. Right. So we don't have a God that we worship, right, that looks like us. We worship a white man. We think Jesus is a white man, but the Bible says Jesus is a black man. That's right. Exactly. Brass like a burnt in a furnace. You can't get no white man out of that. You put white paint in another bucket of white paint, you ain't gonna get nail color but white paint. I know that. I paint every day. God is oppressing <laughs> so us, right? That's why he's punishing us because we broke his commandments and we still keep doing it. That's right. Right? Yeah. So now it's your job and it's our job to teach our people the solutions that they need because we try marching, we try voting, we try religion, right. we try assimilating right, arms, with the white man. The Black Panthers. The Black Panthers. We try taking arms, fighting the government. Bring we tried all that. That's right. But the real solution is keeping God's commandments. That's, That's right. That's the real solution. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 10. No, Exodus. Let's get you the Sabbath day because you asked about that. Yeah. Exodus 20. Read. Oh, the book of Exodus. Huh? I never really knew what that means. Yes, because on Sunday, they think Sunday is the, the day to worship God. But that's false. Rest, right? On Saturday, you're supposed to rest. From Friday night until Saturday night is God's Sabbath day. Right. That's the day of rest. They go to church on Sunday and ignorantly, they don't know that they are worshiping the sun. Right. Right? That's some man established. God never made that. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it shalt thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. Now, it says the Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week. When is the seventh day of the week? Oh, that's Sunday. Well, it's supposed to be Saturday, right? This, yeah, the seventh day is Saturday. Right. The first day of the week is Sunday. Right. You can check that on the calendar, right? We think it's Monday, but it's not. It's Sunday. God says the seventh day, right, which is from Friday night until Saturday night, is God's Sabbath day. Because in the Bible, a new day starts at night. It's a lot we don't know. So <laughs> But guess what? That's why you got that flyer. So, so wrong, bro. 
All praises. That's why you got that flyer. So when you go home, you can look on YouTube, get your Bible, and study, right, and learn your heritage and learn everything God told you that we have lost in slavery. Right. Y'all look all look like y'all don't play no game. Y'all right, we serious about God. That's why we out here. That's right. We are serious about God's work. That's right. It don't matter if somebody try to run off us the block, they ain't gonna do it. Right. It don't matter if somebody threaten to kill us, we don't care. We teaching God's commandments. That's right. And we telling our people to repent. This is the hood. Right. This is the buck wild dirt road. They got gangs over there. FG, they got gangs over there. Right. Right. We teaching our people they got to repent and keep God's commandments. Right. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.